Hey guys, Nappy here, and today on Arc Made Easy, we're going to be searching the ocean biome in the Genesis simulation for the great Megashalon. The taming process is fairly easy, making these a great starter tame. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell to get notified when I upload new content. And if at any time you find yourself enjoying the video, go ahead and hit that like button. The Megashalon can be found scattered throughout the ocean biome. Normally hang out around the surface, but sometimes they can be found a bit deeper. When you do find one of these, you're going to want to hang out somewhat near it, dive to the middle to lower depths of the ocean, and find yourself a school of parakeet fish. When targeting you, these will be called a microbe swarm and act similarly to the insect swarm in the bog biome. Once the targeting begins, simply swim slowly away from them and towards your target, and always be aware of any other predators that can easily sneak up on you in the depths of the ocean. And a quick warning, if these things touch you, they do a ton of damage and basically ignore your armor. And as you can see here, I take a ton of damage, but I just wanted to show you that at nighttime it's much easier to find the schools of fish with the bioluminescent glow. And as you can see, I take too much time trying to spot the turtle, and the school gets the best of me. Ooh. I've gone ahead and swum back down to the school of fish. This can be extremely time consuming depending how deep these are, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead till we get to the turtle. And now that you finally led the school all the way back to the turtle, Swim up underneath its belly, and it will initiate the taming process. After the taming process begins, you will actively need to fight off megalodons, as these will be the only thing in the ocean at the lower depths that will attack it. The electrophorus will attack your player, so keep that in mind as well if you're swimming near the turtle. They will reset the taming on it if they attack you. You can either swim up underneath this to regain your stamina and oxygen every now and then while you are fending off all the predators, or you can simply grapple the Megashalon, put your grapple away, and you can use all your other weapons to fend things off. Throughout the taming process, coelacanths and saber-toothed salmon will spawn and attempt to eat the school of parakeet fish. This will not ruin the taming effectiveness, but if you do lose the school of parakeet fish, you will have to go down to the lower depths and find a new one. And now that you've tamed your first Megashalon, be aware that in the water, these have a horrible turning radius and are extremely slow. I do not recommend leaving them unattended. A group of Megalodons or Electrophorus will make short work of them. Structures can be built on the shell with or without the platform saddle, but keep in mind that equipping or unequipping the saddle at any time will destroy any previously built structures. To craft this saddle, you will need to gather shell fragments, which can be obtained from harvesting the corpse of the dead Megashalon. Due to their extremely slow movement speed, a player can easily kill one with just a pike. Just stay away from that head. Okay, the materials it takes to craft the platform saddle is 312 hide, 260 fiber, 76 metal ingots, 42 silica pearls, 28 cementing paste, and 22 shell fragments. As always, thanks for watching. You can go ahead and check out my latest video down below, more Arc Made Easy over on the left. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel down in the corner, and I'll see you in the next one.